Now with 96% of the people that watch my videos being men, you probably could argue why make a video about this subject, but I'm a believer that every single person should have a nice watch. And when looking at just women's watches, there's a lot of trash out there. You have to sift through a lot of garbage to eventually get to nicer pieces and figure out what is good value versus what is bad value. So in this video, what we're gonna be looking at are the best affordable watches for women. All right, so the whole kind of premise of this video is to look at value for money pieces. So I'm gonna be going from under $100 up to $1,000. I know that's a wide gap, but I think for a lot of the just comparable watches that women are going for, maybe the Daniel Wellingtons of the world, the movements of the world, or even brands like Gucci and uh, Coach or whoever's making uh, watches nowadays, I think definitely are better options out there for the money if you're okay with just uh, literally looking past the brand name and the image. In addition, because I'm probably reaching people that have never seen my videos before with this kind of different topic, uh, I have some helpful videos down below. Maybe you're new to watches, I'm gonna be talking about a lot of different specifications and things that kind of go into a watch and uh, really where you can find value and uh, it might be all really overwhelming and confusing. So if you need help and just kind of providing context here, I have links to like four or five helpful videos down below, like what makes a watch valuable, uh, how should a watch fit you, what's the difference between different types of movements, all that will be down below to kind of help with providing more context here and reasoning uh, behind why I chose the watches that I chose. Okay, so now for this first brand here, you probably could argue that they're maybe close to the same quality as some of these fashion brands that I alluded to. And I wouldn't necessarily disagree with that, but I think the reason why I like this brand a lot, Timex, been around since 1854. Also, they price their watches, I think, appropriately. I think you're actually getting close to what these watches are actually worth in comparison to the jacked up prices of a lot of these fashion brands. And the first watch we have from Timex is the Timex Fairfield. So these watches come in with a price range of $79 to around $90. We're gonna be looking at the case size of 37 millimeters. They also have a 41 millimeter case option, I believe. And it's a kind of a large watch. I actually have one right here. So it's, it's a very simple design, but I definitely recommend going for the 37 because these are a little bit larger of watches here. Case thickness, we're looking at 8.5 millimeters. Lug width, 18 millimeters. Movement as a quartz movement. Water resistance of 30 meters. and also has a mineral crystal. And really important up front, or I mentioned lug width, that's the distance from here to here. And why that's important is you can actually change out the straps on any of the watches that I'm mentioning today. So an important factor, I know a lot of people when they look at a watch, they just see the bracelet like, oh, I don't like the bracelet, I don't wanna buy it. You know that you can switch that out. Especially for some of these more affordable watches, you're gonna to wanna to do that. And I actually have a store all dedicated to watch straps. So if you wanna switch something out, I go ahead in my store, check anything out. You can kind of give your watch a new look. And I, I love doing that personally. Also, another important thing next to the lug width and switching out straps, Water resistance. 30 meters doesn't mean that you can swim with it. I've done an entire video talking about water resistance. If you want to understand what you need to jump in the water with a watch, I will have that in the description as well. But for these Timex Fairfields, you have quite a few different just, uh, just options in terms of colors. I personally like the stainless steel option. You also have like a rose gold type of option uh, and different kind of gold finished options as well. Uh, just no nonsense type of watch, really simple, clean design that I think falls in line with a lot of the fashion brands. Next up, we have the Timex Marlin. So this was a reissue of a very popular 1960s timepiece from Timex. So it was first re reintroduced about two years ago. They came out with a new collection at the end of last year, which I think I wanna look at personally here for today. So price here, we're looking at around $200, key size of 34 millimeters, case thickness of 10 millimeters, lug width of 18 millimeters. Movement here is manually wound, so this is a watch you're gonna have to be actually manually wound by the crown. Water resistance of 30 meters and has an acrylic crystal. But this is a watch, very classic styling uh, with like kind of the Arabic style numerals. It's 34 millimeters, so this is a rather small watch, but I think it'd be perfect for say a woman's wrist. In addition, I did a complete review of one of these watches last year. If you are interested in it, it was at the Timex Blackout Edition, so it's an all black dial version. I personally probably would recommend maybe like the rose gold or the stainless steel uh, as the options here, but if you wanna get a little more information about this line, I did a deep dive review. Now for this next watch is a watch that I gained a little more appreciation for. This brand, I should say, I gained a little bit more appreciation for when I went to Switzerland, where I looked around in the airport and I saw all these mundane clocks on the wall. And the watch that we have here is the Mundane Simply Elegant. So this watch comes in with a price of $204, case size of 34 millimeters, 
thickness of 6.35 millimeters. Lug width, we're looking at 20 millimeters. Movement is, of course, ETA 902101HH2. Water resistance of 30 meters and has a sapphire crystal. So Mondain is a well-known Swiss watch brand producing simply styled watches that are actually the official watches of the Swiss railways. But this model here, you have an elevated ETA course that's a Swiss made movement. You have sapphire crystal as well, so that will help with not having a lot of dings on the watch if you're kind of you know, jostling this thing around. So it's gonna be way better at resisting scratches. And it's a very, just kind of recognizable design with the red second hand. So a fun, kind of a quirky watch, but uh, certainly I think a really cool option if you uh, like these style of watches. Okay, so now for our next watch, this was a watch that is probably the gateway for so many watch enthusiasts. It was actually a gateway watch for me. Uh, I own the full 40 millimeter version, actually gifted it to my brother, and now he eventually became a watch lover as well as a result of giving him that watch. And that is the Orient Bambino. So they just this year released a 36.4 millimeter option, which compared to the 40 millimeter option will be much more wearable on say a woman's wrist. Price here, we're looking at 300 to around $350. Lug width of 17 millimeters, Movement is a caliber F6222, water resistance of 30 meters, and has a mineral crystal. So these watches are kind of like a two-tone effect, so you have kind of some nice like tinting of stainless steel going into that rose gold. Looks fantastic. The watch comes on a bracelet as well. You can swap that out, but could be a lot of fun if you want something that's maybe a little bit kind of walking that fine line between sporty and kind of dressy here, but a great watch. I love the Orient Bambinos. Fantastic gateway watches for somebody looking for a first watch. So this next watch is a watch that my girlfriend actually owns, or one of these three watches, because there's three different styles that we're gonna be looking at here, from a brand that is very beloved by watch enthusiasts, and that is Seiko. And the watch that we have here are the Seiko SRRY model. So the 025, the 027, and the 028. So my girlfriend has the 025, so it has this white ridge dial, really looks beautiful, it has this nice texture to it, looks great in the light, so it's got also some rose gold accents, looks really fantastic. Then you have the 027 and also the 028. These watches are gonna come with a price range around 300 to $350. Case size of 33.8 millimeters, case thickness at 11.3 millimeters, lug width, we're looking at 16 millimeters, movement is an automatic Seiko 4R35, water resistance of 50 meters, and has a Hardlex crystal. So these are automatic watches. So the beauty about automatic watch, all it has a little rotor inside of it that's gonna actually wind the watch for you. So all you have to do to actually wind it is wear it. So that it's really easy in that regard. These are made for the Japanese market, a couple of these are. So I can link down below to where you can buy these watches. You still can find them online, but great watches for women. My girlfriend's actually working on a video review of her watch and her time with it. I think she's had it for a little over six months now. So maybe by the time this is out, that will be up and I can have that in the description as well. I'm telling people to look in the description a lot, but there's a lot of goodies down there. So our next watch, sticking with Seiko, this is the Seiko Dolce. So this watch here is a smaller, uh, quartz watch, so these are ones that you are gonna have a battery in here, but they're incredibly accurate. So price here, we're looking at $416, case size of 33.5 millimeters. So this is actually a men's watch. They have the Exceline line, so it's a 23.9 millimeter option, so that is actually the woman's option and equivalent of this watch, but I think this overall watch, I think will be a little bit better in terms of sizing. Case thickness, we're looking at 5.3 millimeters, so that is very thin, so this is uh, even thinner than, I believe, Daniel Wellington watches. Lug width 17 millimeters, movement is a Seiko Quartz 8J41, water resistance of 30 meters, and has a sapphire crystal. The great thing about these watches though really are the movement inside of here, so we're having a quartz movement, but these are incredibly accurate, so plus or minus 10 seconds a year. These are movements that were actually used in Grand Seiko. So Grand Seiko is the luxury brand attached to Seiko, watches that sell for thousands and thousands of dollars, and they're actually using these movements in their watches a little time ago. So great value for money here, and a very clean dial design. Now our next watch is from a Swiss brand, Tissot, with the Everytime Swiss Matic. So this watch is a little bit larger. I just like the look of this watch. It is probably not gonna be suitable for most women's wrists. There's also a course option available as well. Uh, it has very similar styling. But this Everytime Swissmatic comes with a price range of $390 to $450. Case size of 40 millimeters, thickness of 11.62. Lug width, we're looking at 21 millimeters. Movement here, we're looking at an ETA C1511. That's an automatic movement. Water resistance of 30 meters and has a sapphire crystal. So you have a 72 hour power reserve, so that's a three day power reserve. So if you wear this once, put it on the bed stand for you know, three days, you're good to go. You can pick it back up and still be ticking away. 
great minimal style watches. And Tissot, I don't th this watch only just tells a little bit of the story about the brand. There are a lot of great women's watches available. I think that would be probably one of, one of a few brands that I would recommend for a entry level watch for a woman. So all the watches so far have been more dress oriented. So just to throw a different style of watch out there, just for those that might be interested, something that you can really beat around. Here we have the Victorinox Inox V or five. So the price here, we're looking at $495 to $550. Case size of 37 millimeters, case thickness of 12.7 millimeters. Lug width, we're looking at 18 millimeters. Movement inside here, we have a quartz Ronda 715. That's a Swiss quartz movement. Water resistance of 200 meters and has a sapphire crystal. So the Inox here stands for impact neutralization object for the extremes. So with that being said, this watch is built to withstand pretty much anything you throw at it. And even though these watches may look like your typical tool watch, with 200 meters of water resistance, you can pretty much do any water activity you possibly wanna do. As another dive watch, or maybe a watch that you can kind of beat around, this a lot of men wear this watch, the Seiko SKX 013. It has a 38 millimeter case, 200 meters of water resistance, a great carefree watch for those that are looking something for, maybe a little bit more robust on the wrist in terms of just banging around, not have to worry. SKX is a legend <laughs> for watch lovers, so can certainly work on a woman's wrist as well. Now our next watch here is another Swiss brand with the Hamilton Valiant. So this watch comes in with a price of $645, case size of 34 millimeters, thickness of 10.58 millimeters, lug width of 16 millimeters, movement is an automatic ETA 28242, great, just reliable movement here, water resistance of 50 meters, and has a sapphire crystal. So this is a trendy kind of yet classic watch from Hamilton, very overlooked watch as well. I don't think many people even know this one exists and I was actually very surprised that they have a woman's option available. You have these Roman numeral style hour markings on the watch, very clean, simple, but well done design from Hamilton. Now next up we have a, a brand that I really do love. I own one of their watches, the Jung Hans Max Bill Chronoscope, really stylish, minimalist style watch. And this watch that we have here though is the Jung Hans Max Bill hand winding. So these watches come in with a price at retail 695. You can find them for a little bit cheaper. Case size of 34 millimeters, case thickness of nine millimeters, lug width of 18 millimeters. Movement is a hand winding J805. So that's an ETA based movement here. Water resistance of 30 meters and has a plexiglass crystal. And one more thing that I'll add about the Young Hans is they do have a smaller 32 millimeter quartz option available. Uh, for those that maybe don't care about the mechanical versus quartz thing and just care about saving money, you're still gonna get that awesome looking design. So this watch is not going to be as maybe a robust in terms of the ability to take a beating. So you're gonna have to you know, be a little more careful with this watch, but if you just want a very stylish, minimal style watch from a brand that's been doing it for pretty much longer than anybody, uh, connection to the Bauhaus School of Design in Germany, so brands like Ikea, uh, Apple, just have roots connected to this design style of industrial design. This brand, fantastic, great overall looking watches. And if I had a short list, if I had to shrink this down to maybe three, this would certainly be on it for best women's watches under $1,000. And now sticking to German brands, we have another German brand here with the Stova, with the Antia Back to Bauhaus. So the price here, we're looking at $920, Case size, we have a couple different options. You have a 35.5 millimeter option and a 36.5 millimeter option. That 35 millimeter option will be a hand wound watch option. And then the 36, you have the ability to choose an automatic option as well. Case thickness, we're looking at 6.9 millimeters, lug width of 18 millimeters. Again, movement can be manual or automatic. Water resistance of 30 meters and has a sapphire crystal. So these watches are just rooted in conventional German uh, Bauhaus design language. So for color options, you have some crazier ones, so like a light blue, a pink, lime green, as well as offering some more subdued colors, which I think usually will work better in terms of versatility, but you have a tan, black, white, for those that might not be as adventurous like me, but great watches here from Stova and certainly ones worthy of mentioning. And then to close out our list here today, we have the Hamilton Khaki Navy Pioneer. So again, I was actually not aware that they had a 36 millimeter option available for this watch. So price range, $940 to $1,000, case size 36 millimeters, case thickness of 10.75 millimeters, lug width of 18 millimeters, movement is an automatic H10 movement, so that's an ETA based movement, a little bit more on that in a bit, water resistance of 100 meters, and has a sapphire crystal. So this is a great casual everyday watch, maybe not as dressy, but kind of walks that fine line of elegance and having ability to be dressed up quite a bit. This piece has been a favorite amongst Hamilton collectors and watch enthusiasts, so 
Don't be surprised if you see a lot of these on Instagram or if you look around for these watches. Going to this H10 movement though, so this is an ETA based movement. This particular one has an 80 hour power reserve, so you're getting over three days of a power reserve. So if you wear this uh, twice a week, you're never gonna have to worry about winding this thing ever. And as usual, Hamilton is a Swiss brand. They have roots. They were actually in Lancaster, PA until 1969, until moving to Switzerland uh, during a little bit of harder times with the Swiss watch industry. But I think a great watch to conclude our list here today. Okay, so that is my list for affordable women's watches. If you liked this video, found it helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, subscribe and hit that bell icon. Release awesome watch content all the time. And also a big thank you to a girl and her watches on Instagram, Kat. She's been a follower of my channel for some time and she was very helpful in helping kind of put together and fine tune this list. Also, if you wanna get a replacement strap for any of the watches that you buy here, teddyballastar.com is a great place to do it. And also we give away watches on my channel all the time. So fill out that watch giveaway form and then follow me on Instagram as well if you wanna be entered to win. We announce the winners on my Instagram. So make sure you're following me there. And then also if you wanna get a luxury watch, so maybe you wanna kind of keep scaling in and I could do a video about luxury watches. My channel partners up with Bob's Watches. I bought watches from them. Fantastic online resource, one of the largest online retailers for watches and any purchase using the link in the description helps us and keep going with the content that we're creating here. So guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.